everybody. Welcome back to Try New Things, where today we're going to try a crazy little project, I guess. Uh, the idea comes from my wife. A lot of good ideas do. But she wanted me to make her some rot-proof, rust-proof birdhouses. And what I've got here is a leftover piece of PVC pipe, Schedule 40 in this case. And what I'm going to try to do is use the PVC pipe and a piece of leftover Trex decking that I had from the deck out at the house, which is a plastic composite, and see if I can't make some birdhouses out of this. Stay tuned. So the first thing I gotta try to figure out is how big am I gonna make these birdhouses? So the Trex deck that I'm gonna use is almost an inch thick. And if you go with one inch on the back and one inch on the front, you know, we're, we're quickly consuming any space the bird has left to make a nest. So I'm going to go with four and a half inches for the bird house. And then I'm going to use an inch and a half of that, inserting the, uh, the Trex deck. And that'll leave three inches for the bird. I think that's what I'm going to do. Should be plenty for a little bird. Gotta plug it in. That's gotta work a little better. What I think I'm gonna do is cut one end at 20 degrees, and what that's gonna do is provide a little overhang for the birdies to keep the sun and rain off their heads. So I'm gonna try that. made it through. I guess we're going to the handsaw. So that 24 inch section of 4 inch PVC pipe has yielded four birdhouses. So I'm four and a half inches at the small end and then I cut those at a 20 degree bevel to give them that little overhang. Yeah so I'm good to go. Now it's time to uh, well First of all, I hit all the edges after cutting them with some 220 uh, sandpaper inside and out just to smooth any rough edges. But now I got to cut out the Trex deck, a bunch of uh, four inch discs for the front and back. So here are my four inch circles. All I did was trace the inside of one of the birdhouses. And my intention is I'm going to use like a jigsaw to cut these out a bit proud and then use the belt sander. Uh, to gradually bring them into the right size. The next step is cutting those out. Right size hole saw would uh, be awesome right about now. Well, there are my eight ugly circles. Time to make them look a little bit better when we go over to the belt sander. Now, something to keep in mind this is the back side of that Trex. This is the side that's going to be showing out, the wood grain side. So they should look a little bit better when I'm all done. Over to the belt sander. Now this is going to be noisy, so I'm not going to show you a whole lot of it, but this is my 6-inch Kalamazoo belt sander. This is what we're going to use to shape our circles. So here are those eight discs after I got done sanding. They look a lot better now, and obviously round. And you uh, just set them a little oversized and then keep sanding until they fit. Every one of these now fits. So what I've got is four fronts and four backs. The four fronts i got to put a birdie hole and a birdie stand hole. What do you call that? The little stick they stand on. I'm going to call it a stick they stand on and a birdie hole 
in four of these. The other four are going to be backs, and then what we need to do is put eight screws 90 degrees apart, uh, well, four 90 degrees apart on the bottom, and four 90 degrees apart on the top, and countersink those, and then we can set these in place with the fronts in the front and the backs in the back. So let me uh, look up how big a birdie hole needs to be. Now to do these birdhouses upright, what I need to do is put them together with stainless screws. I promised at the beginning no rust, and so I need some stainless screws. Unfortunately, I don't have the right size on me right now, but they're ordered from Amazon, and uh, as soon as they're in, we'll go to the next clip. Well, this should be no surprise, but Amazon pulled through and sent me the stainless steel screws. Now you may have seen in a previous clip, I did have wooden dowels in. But I did promise the wife rot proof. So while I was ordering the screws, I ordered these polymer or plastic quarter inch dowels. So those won't rot. Next step, drill some holes, countersink, get ready to install the bits and bobs. Decided to go with just three screws at the front and the back, and no screw on the top, just to make it look better and maybe keep water from leaking in. All right, time for some uh, countersinks. Last two. Let's put one of these together and see if we like it. Here we go. Got to put a bottom in the bottom. Do that first. Make sure it's flush. We'll put in the bottom screws. Now, when it comes time to clean this out. What you're going to want to do is just uh, remove the three screws for the front, put your finger in the uh, birdie hole, and pull the front face off. And you should be able to easily clean it up and then put the uh, three screws back in it. All right, there's our three screws holding our bottom on. Make they're snug. It's time to go on to the top. The top may be a little bit trickier. Just making sure this stays vertical once we have it where we want it. What I wanted is flush with the bottom. And straight up and down. Which that looks pretty darn good.
once you get one screw in you really don't have to worry about it anymore you can get a little bit more comfortable angle for putting the other screws in so there we go now it's time to finish off three more bird houses there's the little birdie hole So I've gone ahead and temporarily installed it here at the uh, Rainwater Harvesting Center. But I really like how these birdhouses turned out. They've got a nice profile to them. Let me show you how I hooked it up. So essentially one deck screw. And I drilled two holes and then used a little round file to join the two. You just got to line it up, which I can't do without looking. And then push it down into the smaller hole and boom, mounted. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, be honest with me. What are your thoughts on this particular rot proof and rust proof birdhouse design? Again, just made a four inch PVC and some Trex deck. I went ahead and used uh, the stainless steel screws. If you don't have Trex deck or a plastic polymer like this one, um, I think cedar would be fun and actually look really, really good in there. So next time I make them, I may make them with some cedar. I don't know, but I like them. Hopefully the wife likes them as well because this was her idea and she wants to keep them. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.